everybody, Uber GTO here, and today I'm going to review Path of Exile. What's Path of Exile? It's, well, if you ever played Diablo, it's a little bit like that. It's very similar, but if anything, it's more like the first two Diablos than the third, which is and isn't good depending on the situation. Mostly that reason is I don't really like having to identify all of my things I pick up that are decent, and I don't like using portal scrolls. Also using shared loot pools means you're fighting over some items. As you can figure, the game has multiple different characters, seven in this case, and they all use different skill sets more so than others, but are very flexible in this case. What makes this game unique and a little daunting is the skill tree. It's massive. 1,350 passive skills you can use. And at first, it's, it really messes with you. You, you got to really plan it out because I screwed up and it, it's not easy to go back. What also sets this game apart is the gems. There's gems everywhere. You want to get things with sockets, link sockets if possible because there's support gems that boost other abilities you might use. Right now, my main ability is lightning strike and I also have things to increase my elemental damage and melee damage. And it steals life as it is. And this is how all skills in the game work. You have to find gems to use your main magic abilities. You just don't get them like in Diablo or other games. You have to have these gems. And some of them are random. Some of them are quest items. But you have to have these things equipped to be able to use all of your skills. So you really need to itemize your gear to get those blue, green, and a red gems right. Characters use strength, dexterity, or intelligence depending on the class. Some use both. Some just focus on one. So of course you need to balance your gear out to get exactly what your class needs. You move around the map using waypoints that you need to find. Not every area has them, but they are crucial to getting around in this game. But that's not the only way you can get around. You also have portal scrolls you can find and you and your friends can use to help you jump back and forth. One thing I like to point out now is the game is free to play. You do not need to spend a dime to do well. You do not need any of this stuff. All of it just boost your image, you get extra stash tabs if you need be, or pets to follow you around. But you do not need any of it, and that's great. As far as gameplay is concerned, I really like the game. Uh, it was a mixed bag at first about which was better, Diablo or this. And it still kind of is for me. There's certain things that this game does very well. Uh, love some of the crazy mobs that just kind of jump you. In Diablo, I more so had to run around to get a giant mob like that. But in this game, you will get crushed by the guys. And elemental resist and damage becomes very crucial for some classes. If you're a melee like I am, not having enough resistance or shielding will get you killed pretty quick, especially later in the game, because it does get quite a bit tougher. I didn't have as much problem with dying in Diablo as I do in this game. You really can get your ass kicked. But there's very little penalty to dying. The worst case scenario, you might have to run back a little ways. It's no big deal. If you're smart, you drop a portal scroll before a boss fight. You and your friends can just jump back into it. Or you can cheat a bit, take your own portal back to get your health and your flask refilled. It's kind of cheap, but it works. But all in all, I really like the game. The pacing seems to be done fairly well. It doesn't seem too slow very often. And if you leave an area, everything respawns after about 15 minutes and you lose the map. So you basically are always fighting attacking if you have to go back to an area. On to graphics, I think the game looks very good. Uh, it's not a Crisis 3 or B Battlefield. But it's for this kind of game, it's very good looking and it has very little hit on my computer. I have a 670 and it's using 40% of it at any given time and like 25% of my CPU. No, no big deal to run this probably on quite a few computers. Coming to an end, I'd have to give this game a four and a half out of five. I have a lot of fun with it. There's slight flaws, nothing major. But when you figure in the price of it, for free, what's it costing you? A hard drive space, which even then is fairly small. So get around, get some friends, have some fun, play this game. You, you can't really go wrong. I have a lot of fun playing it. I'd have to recommend this game to everyone.